CACO2, Wikipedia article audio. The CACO2 cell line is a continuous cell of heterogeneous human epithelial colorectal adenocarcinoma cells, developed by the Sloan Kettering Institute for Cancer Research through research conducted by Dr. Jurgen Falk. Although derived from a colon carcinoma, when cultured under specific conditions the cells become differentiated and polarized such that their phenotype, morphologically and functionally, resembles the enterocytes lining the small intestine. CACO2 cells express tight junctions, microvilli, and a number of enzymes and transporters that are characteristic of such enterocytes, peptidases, esterases, peak glycoprotein, uptake transporters for amino acids, bile acids, carboxylic acids, etc. When looking at CACO2 cell cultures microscopically, it is evident even by visual inspection that the cells are heterogeneous. As a result, over the years the characteristics of the cells used in different laboratories around the world have diverged significantly, which makes it difficult to compare results across labs. CACO2 cells are most commonly used not as individual cells, but as a confluent monolayer on a cell culture insert filter. When cultured in this format, the cells differentiate to form a polarized epithelial cell monolayer that provides a physical and biochemical barrier to the passage of ions and small molecules. The CACO2 monolayer is widely used across the pharmaceutical industry as an in vitro model of the human small intestinal mucosa to predict the absorption of orally administered drugs. The correlation between the in vitro apparent permeability across CACO2 monolayers and the in vivo fraction absorbed is well established. Transwell Diagram this application of CACO2 cells was pioneered in the late 1980s by Ismael Hidalgo, working in the laboratory of Ron Borchardt at the University of Kansas, and Tom Robb, who was at the Upjohn Company at the time. Following stints at Smith Klein Beecham and Roan Poulank Rohrer, Hidalgo went on to CO found a company, Absorption Systems, in 1996 where he remains as chief scientist. The considerable impact of the CACO2 cell monolayer model can be measured in at least two ways. First, considering that poor pharmacokinetic properties accounted for 40% of drug failures in development in the early 1990s and only 10% by 2009 an interval in which CACO2 monolayers were widely used throughout the pharmaceutical industry to predict absorption, it is not unreasonable to attribute some of that shift to this simple yet powerful model. Second, the 1989 gastroenterology paper that demonstrated the utility of the model for this application has been cited more than 1,000 times since its publication. The versatility of CACO2 cells is demonstrated by the fact that, even to this day, they are serving as the basis for the creation of innovative new models that are contributing to our understanding of drug efflux transporters such as P-glycoprotein and BCRP. RNA interference has been used to silence the expression of individual efflux transporters, either transiently or long-term. Unsorted Sources <laughs>